Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. Do you remember the old video where I talked about how to simplify a coffee cup into basic shapes? And the idea here was to make it easier for you to visualize the object as a three-dimensional thing and not just copy the outlines. Well, let's take that same technique and apply it to a much more complicated object. And for this video, we're going to be using a screenshot of a character from the World of Warcraft video game. Because their characters are very stylized, so they're already exaggerated and simplified, more so than a photograph of a person. So in a lot of ways, what I'm thinking of here is almost like a dress form, where it's a simplified form that I'm then going to lay the costume on top. And so I'm thinking of the very most basic three-dimensional primitives that would sort of represent the shape of his body. I'm paying attention to the proportions and to whether I'm getting the angles correct, but not worrying about any of the details right now. I'm laying out more of a blueprint or a scaffolding to build my character on top of. So for instance, the all the hair on the top of his head I'm representing with a simple curve. And here I'm drawing an oval where his neck is going to connect. So this is not what I'm seeing, but more how I'm envisioning him being built together. And I'm switching back and forth between pencil and eraser, and really just roughing in his major shapes. And like in previous unplugged videos, you can see I'm using the angular block in to some degree. I'm starting with the largest shapes, and then I'm going to add in progressively more specific shapes. So here I'm using simple triangles for his ears. Obviously, the actual character has much more complex ears, but this is enough for now. And then I notice certain shapes line up in parallel. The ridge of the nose, the front of the teeth. So I'll lay in some parallel lines just to remind myself that's where the teeth are going to go later. I'm using the blue pencil here because I'm going to draw over this with a traditional HB pencil later. So really this is very much my underdrawing. And really what I'm making for myself here is a road map. Because once I have these basic shapes laid out correctly, I'll have much more confidence when I go back in and do the second pass. And that's when I really give it specific character. But since I know all the major objects are in the right arrangement, I can be confident when I put in those little details. I won't be wasting time in my detail pass. But I should say that there's one important difference between the way we looked at still lifes and copied them, and the way I'm looking at this character. And that is that eventually we're going to be imagining drawings. Like, let's say you wanted to think of this same character, but viewed from a side angle. And there's no reference for that. Well, that means that you're going to have to do some mental extrapolation. And mental extrapolation like that is just made much easier if you can first reduce it down to primitives. It's just like the mannequin idea. You take a basic form, and then you dress it in details. But rotating something in your mind's eye is just much easier if the object is simple. So this idea of visual reduction will begin to be how you think about drawing in general. You'll see any object around you in simplified forms. How can you reduce a coffee cup is the same way that you can reduce a character or even a cityscape. Because you can see here, once I've gotten some of the major landmarks in place, now I'm starting to refine. And how much you want to refine at this stage is really up to you. Probably since I'm using a blue pencil here, I wouldn't take this all the way to a finish. But I just want to do a little more refinement here so I have a great blueprint for when I do go in and do my proper drawing. In fact, the second half of this video, what I'm going to play on Thursday, is taking the blueprint that we've established here and taking it to a final drawing. And you'll see how much confidence this strong underdrawing really gives me. So in the future when you're drawing, think about constructive form. Use visual reduction and make these objects really 3D. Have fun and thanks for watching guys.